हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू हैव डन योर होमवर्क एंड फिनिश विद द फर्स्ट चैप्टर सो टुडे वी शेल स्टार्ट विद द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर टू दैट इज फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज एंड मेजरमेंट एंड दिस इज अ वीडियो नंबर फोर सो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द चैप्टर दैट इज फिजिकल क्वांटिटी एंड मेजरमेंट so before we start with this topic i would like to give you some journal examples like my weight is my weight is 50 kg next is it is Five o'clock. Then this is eight meter long. Now, Susan, these are the measurement which we do in our daily life. Here, the first example is my weight is fifty kg. So it means I'm talking about my mass as you are knowing that kg is the si unit of mass now the next example it is 5 uh, o'clock it means i am talking about the time now the third is this is 8 meter long it means i am measuring something it means i am measuring the length so mass time and length these are the physical quantities which we measure in our daily life or in other words we can define physical quantity physical quantities in a very simple way we can say that anything anything which we can anything which we can measures this is what physical quantity is now physical quantity is further divided into two parts it has it is of two type it is of two parts now the first part is size oblique magnitude and the next part is si units so students in order to understand these two parts i am just taking one example that is let mass of mass of sugar is 20 kg now students i am just writing it here 20 and kg now what is 20 here what is 20 20 is the numerical value or in other word you can say 20 is the size or magnitude and whereas kg is the si units so students this is the concept of the physical quantity and measurements i hope you have understood it now let us move to the next topic of your book 
that is density this i have already explained to you in the first chapter what is density is the density of a substance is defined as mass per unit volume of the substance once again the density of a substance is defined as mass per unit volume of the substance now or in other word you can write it mass of the substance divided by volume of the substance so you can denote it with density can be denoted with d mass with m and the volume is with v now from here we can find the unit of density unit of density as we know that the unit of mass is kg and the volume is meter cube so we can write it like this kg per meter cube so this is the si unit of the density now <clears throat> there are few things which you have to remember in order to solve the numerical problems so i'm just going to write here things to be remember that is as we know that 1 kg is equal to 1000 g and 1 g is equal to 1 upon 1000 kg so another is One meter that is equal to hundred centimeter, and one centimeter is equal to one upon hundred meter. Now, whenever you are asked to convert the SI unit of any physical quantity into CGS systems. so we can go through it like let us convert 1 kg per meter cube into gram per centimeter cube now 1 kg that is equal to 1000 gram and meter cube so 1 meter is equal to 100 cm so since it is meter cube it means we can write it 100 cm cube so first of all what i have done i have converted kg into gram then meter cube into cm cube this is one of the most important part you must practice it at home now students let us simplify it now it is 1000 since it is cube it means 100 will come three times so cancelled so you get 1 upon 1000 g per centimeter cube 
and even you can write it like this 1 upon 10 raised to power 3 gram per centimeter cube and even you can write it 10 raised to power minus 3 gram per centimeter cube so just practice it and it will help you to solve the numerical problem and this is one of the most uh, important part of this uh, chapter in order to solve the numerical problem so we can say that 1 kg per meter cube is equal to 10 raised to power minus 3 gram per centimeter cube like this you can convert 1 gram per centimeter cube so it will be equal to 1000 kg per meter cube so just uh, learn it and i hope okay, you will be able to solve all the numericals on the basis of this now students since our topic is density even we have discussed in the previous chapter that the density of a substance decreases with increase in temperature because the intermolecular force of attraction increases and increases with the decrease in temperature except water because the density of water increases from 0 degree Celsius to 4 degree Celsius and decreases above 4 degree Celsius. The density of water at 4 degree Celsius is 1000 kg per meter cube. Okay students, uh, let us try to understand this the, about uh, the unusual behavior of the water. Like this unusual behavior of the water is known as anomalous expansion of water. It means that when you will heat, when you will heat the water, when you will heat the water, so from 0 degree to 4 degree Celsius, from 0 degree Celsius till 4 degree Celsius. So what will happen? It will contract. And after that it will start expanding. On heating. On heating the water. And on cooling, on cooling the water, till 4 degree Celsius, till 4 degree Celsius, the water contracts. And from 4 degree Celsius to 0 degree Celsius, the water expand. Once again, student, this is one of the most important topic. This is the unusual behavior of the water. Like when you will heat the water from 0 degree Celsius till 4 degree Celsius, the water first contracts and after that it start expanding. And when you will cool the water till 4 degree Celsius, the water contracts and after that it starts expanding. You can take an example of freezing of lakes during the winter. The upper surface of the lake freeze, but the lower one is expand. That is why the aquatic life survives. I hope you have understood it. You must go through it. So, 
we can say that from these two examples we can say that the density of water at 4 degrees celsius is maximum or you can say that that is 1000 kg per meter cube you can write it here density of water at 4 degrees celsius is maximum and that is 1000 kc per meter cube so i hope you have understood this so that's all for today thank you very much